So we just discussed how we could add additional taxes if we had nexus in different states. But the next thing I wanted to talk about is something that's specific to California. So when you're determining how much sales tax to collect, the sales tax rate that you collect in California is a little bit more complicated to figure out than most other states. Most states are either origin-based or destination-based sales tax states, but California is actually a hybrid of both. So what that means for you is that if you're a seller, you're going to be collecting at least two sales tax rates in California, one for buyers in the district where your business is located and one for buyers outside the district of where your business is located. So our sales tax rate is actually a sum of two rates. It's the state sales tax, which currently in California, that's seven and a half percent. And it's a district sales tax rate. Districts are the government lingo for cities, counties, and towns. And the rates from those districts can vary from anywhere from 0.1% to 2% per district. So in California, your taxes can be a little bit more complicated. For you to figure out how your sales tax is calculated, I would recommend that you go to the California State Board of Equalization website, and I will provide this link for you. But this will actually give you information on city and county sales tax rates. If you want to find out what the sales tax is in your area, you can click on the link for the tax rates, which is effective as of April 2016, and it's going to take you where you can list by city. So if I choose S for San Diego and I come down here, you can see that the tax rate in San Diego is 8%. So in San Diego in general, it's going to be 8%. But keep in mind that you want to find your specific part of San Diego. So for instance, if I'm living in San Diego and I live in La Mesa, my tax rate is actually 8 and 3 quarter percent as opposed to San Diego proper where it's just 8%. So determining where exactly your business is and then finding out what that district rate is gonna be is gonna be very important. So for our website, our cupcake website, we're just gonna pretend that we have a store located in La Jolla. So we're gonna set up a tax rate so that our tax is going to be 8%. So if I go back to WooCommerce, we already have these various tax rates set up and we have our California tax rate set up at seven and a half percent. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, in addition to that, set up my district tax rate. So I'll go ahead and insert a new row. And this is going to have a country code, of course, of US. The state code obviously is going to be California. And then my zip code is going to be La Jolla. So my zip code in La Jolla is going to be 92037. And for the city, I'll just put La Jolla. So what we're going to do is for the city of La Jolla, we're going to add a tax rate of 0.5%. And we're going to have this be designated as La Jolla city tax. I'm going to set this to have a priority of two. And let me show you what this does to within WooCommerce. I'm going to save my changes and I'm going to go back out to the front end and refresh our page. You can see that my tax rate is still 0.75. And let me show you what happens if we change our town and our zip code to be La Jolla. If we add La Jolla as the city and the zip code, of 92307, you can see that it's going to add an additional 0.5% tax. So it's going to bring the tax up to 80 cents. So here it only charges the additional district tax for La Jolla if I'm purchasing this and also having it sent within La Jolla. And you can see that you could customize this based on where your location is. But as I've mentioned, it's beyond the scope of this class to talk about all the ins and outs of tax. So it's important that you understand it. In relationship to WooCommerce, you can see that WooCommerce is capable of handling fairly complex tax requirements. So this is hopefully giving you an overview of how you can deal with taxes in your store. 
And you can see that there's actually quite a bit that goes into charging taxes, but WooCommerce does make it very easy to help you charge taxes. If you do have a more complex situation set up, there are quite a few plugins that you can use in conjunction with WooCommerce, which will give you additional help. One of them that I recommend is TaxJar.com and it actually helps quite a bit in calculating more complex tax. So you could check this out. This is, um, this they do charge a monthly fee, so this is not free. But if you do have complex tax issues set up, this probably would be worth your while. And again, check with your accountant, check with your tax specialist and find out what it is that you need to do. You may be able to use what's in WooCommerce right out of the box and that may be sufficient, or you may need a little bit more customization depending on what your business is.